Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Caden and Gordon Show, today's best country mix. And joining me right here is Dylan Gerard. Hey, Dylan, how are you today? Good. How are you? Doing good. Thank you so much for asking. So kind of tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into music. Um, so I'm from a small town in Northeast Florida called McClenny. It's like right outside of Jacksonville. Um, and I've just kind of, I mean, I've come from a really musical family. Um, my parents, uh, they sing and play together. My dad kind of, he plays guitar and that's kind of where I picked it up. Uh, I started learning how to play uh, on his guitars whenever I was, I guess, a sophomore in high school. Um, and at that point I started singing a little more and just kind of wanted to play around with, uh, you know, learning my, learning songs and writing songs. And yeah, that was kind of the introduction. And then I played in some high school bands and outside of high school and it's just kind of always stuck with me. What do you most enjoy about music? Um, I like, I, I love that, you know, it can be an outlet for you, uh, but it also can be something that connects you to other people. Um, and, you know, I feel that whenever, you know, it first started with hearing music and connecting with that and connecting with the artists. And then now the thing that you know, it's rewarding to me is that I'm writing my own music, I'm playing my own music, and I have that opportunity to be able to connect with other people. Um, and, you know, it, music can lighten your day, it can help you understand your, the world you're living in, it can do all that stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, music is, it's so many things, but yeah, that's why I love it. What strengths do you have that make you a great musician, Dylan? Who? <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I think that's uh, some people would say that I'm not a great musician. Um, uh, I, I think I got a, a pretty good voice. Um, I like to sing. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I can really answer that question very well. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because it would it would assume that I am a great musician, and I always kind of feel like I'm I've got a lot to learn. Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit here and there, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Describe your creative process when you write new music and make new music. Um, so it first started off. It first started off as just kind of waiting for inspiration to hit. Uh, whether it be like in a moment or something. Um, and I guess it kind of still is that way, but you know, it, I can have a, a song for me uh, that I've written can begin either listening to another song and, and kind of thinking, oh, well, I think you could probably take that hook or you can take that idea and flip it and turn it this way and write a song about that. Or it's just, you know, you're, you're hanging out, you're talking with somebody, you're driving, you're doing whatever, and you have an idea pop in your head, put it in your phone, and then you come back to it later. Uh, um, and that's kind of how like a lot of co-writes have been going lately is that, you know, I'll just go in with an idea that I, that just popped in my head randomly at some point, and then we flush it out. Um, and so that's the creative process right now. Uh, but as far as like getting into the weeds of how I actually write a song, I think I'd probably just bore you more than interest you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, you never know. Maybe some people might be fascinated by it. You know, right. you think it's boring. Right. You never know. <laughs> right. Yeah. So what does a typical day look like for you, Dylan? Um, well, I mean, it kind of changes. And I think that's, uh, that's, kind of the beauty of and also uh the interesting thing about you know being an artist um <clears throat> and not necessarily having a typical nine to five uh mm -hmm. but like today today i woke up and i worked on putting a set list together for a show in kansas city um 
with uh, with a group of guys that I haven't really uh, played with before. And so, um, yeah, that was just figuring out songs, figuring out keys, putting it all together, uh, seeing what we wanted to play. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was literally just telling somebody about, you know, it sounds like such a simple task, but when you get into actually figuring out all the logistics and everything, um, yeah, I was sitting on the, I was sitting on the couch, just putting it all together for like five hours today. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it can be that. And then on like mm -hmm. slow days, I'll wake up and I'll go out to the garage and I'll do some woodworking and, you know, build a desk for somebody or, you know, work on projects around the house. Um, and then sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes it's just wake up, go to the gym, open up my lungs for a show later that night and just kind of warm up and practice. So it really just kind of depends. Mm -hmm. What do you like doing outside of music on your free time for like hobbies and interests, Dylan? Um, yeah, so I, I guess I alluded to it. Um, I, I really love woodworking and building things. Um, just kind of like working on projects, stuff like that. Uh, big movie and TV guy. Uh, so that's something that you can find me doing often. Um, and then, uh, you know, watching sports, playing sports, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's typical. Uh, I haven't really had a, had a strong urge to go bowling lately. Uh, I feel like I need to do that pretty soon. I'm not really that great or anything, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm not great at bowling either, but you know, what was funny, I was actually thinking about possibly going soon too, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's for funny like a, that you bring that up. Yeah, it's really yeah. funny you bring that up. Yeah, for like three weeks, I've been like, I, I keep passing this bowling alley and I'm like, man, I need mm -hmm. to go bowling. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What advice would you give someone that might want to start singing? Ooh. Like they just want to start singing? Yeah, just start in general. Uh, just do it. Um, I mean, if you can, if you can play an instrument, um, you know, play an instrument and and play along with singing. If you don't, then you know, just find some tracks online and start singing to those. Uh, it's really, I mean, it's really easy to start if you want to start. Um, and then if you if you feel like you're good enough, I guess maybe get with like a vocal coach or something and hone the skill. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I would just say. Do it. Life's too short mm -hmm. not to. Just start. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. Yeah, life is just way too short, unfortunately. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Dylan, do you have any new singles or any upcoming projects that we can look forward to? Yeah, we've uh, we just released a single called Please Don't Let Me. Um, that's out the country radio right now. Uh, and we've released a music video for it, which um, can be found on YouTube. Uh, and then like tomorrow it starts playing on uh, CMT.com. So you can find it there. And it's on a couple of different, um, you know, online service outlets uh aim country stuff like that the country network mm -hmm. um but yeah and that's that and then uh really just kind of we've got through covid we uh were able to finish up recording um uh an album um so like a full length album and uh yeah that's the next thing um is just figuring out a date for that releasing that uh and then you know, hopefully touring it and playing some more shows, so. Mm -hmm. And I know you wanted to play a song for us, so tell us what song you want to play and uh, kind of like the background on why you wrote it and made it. Right, so <clears throat> um, this is my first single. This is called Simple Things, because uh, uh, you can you can look up the audio for, uh, for Please Don't Let Me, which is the single right now. Um, but Simple Things is, it's one of the first songs that I, 
uh, co-wrote up in Nashville uh, with a guy named Alex Dooley. And first time we met, we were just kind of talking about where we came from, uh, what made us who we were. And, um, and I had had this idea of, you know, the simple things and, and we just kind of latched onto it and, and wrote it. And it's, that's really what it is. Uh, it's just all the small things in life that, um, you know, make you who you are, where you came from, uh, the things that are, you know, bigger than money and worldly possessions, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so this is simple things. And if you like it, you can find it wherever. Living life in the fast lane, just watching it all go by. When I slow down and think about how life ain't made up of bank accounts, well, I'm reminded of what it is. It's like a Sunday morning sermon, a baby in your arms, running through a thunderstorm, barefoot. And the world's falling apart, all oh, it's a simple thing. Yesterday I was eight years old and I woke up 29. I traded in my hot wheels for a more good old nine to five. Now I find peace of mind with all the things that money can't buy like some more salmon baby in your arms running through the thunderstorm barefoot in the yard or long talk to daddy mama's loving heart some skies and winter green in my grandpa's beat up car so Such an amazing song there. I really like that song. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. And I encourage everyone, if they want to go check out the song, to go to uh, Dylan's uh, social media pages. And by the way, for those that don't know, what is your uh, social media? Where can we find you? Um, so it's just my name, Dylan Gerard, uh, on Instagram. It's Dylan Gerard. Uh, everywhere else, I think it's just Dylan Gerard Music. Um, so that's it. Awesome. And is there anything else that I, I forgot that you would like to share with us before we go? Um, not necessarily. I guess the easiest thing would just be to go to dillandgerardmusic.com and it's linked to everything. Um, you know, YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just follow there and you can keep up with what's going on. There's a fan club you can join. Um, but yeah, that's it. I appreciate it.
Yeah, no problem. Anytime. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Dylan for joining us right here on the Kane and Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. We appreciate your time to talk to us. Thank you. I appreciate 